Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of City Skylines. Today is gonna be a very short episode because, well, it is a little bit of a bad weather morning so I decided to drive home. It's just, you know, we are just on the next lake on a vacation. And I used air quotes there when I said vacation, we're technically not very far from home. So I just have a couple of hours to produce a little something and that's why it's gonna be very short. Because I wanna go back to the lake and enjoy the time with my family. But I wanted to let you know that having a short episode today is actually me putting effort into the channel and not being lazy. Anyways, I wanted to continue on this area and I actually wanted to know what this building does. Somebody mentioned in the previous episode that this building, the space elevator, is gonna break my city and I'm not sure what they meant. So far I can just see that this building definitely attracts the most tourists. Let me actually see. Yeah, we have this metro station that is now filling up. Maybe let's go ahead and check on that. That is my metro. Can I see the passengers. No, they actually disappear. Ah, there we go. Here they are, the blue guys. Let's see how many people can actually get away here. Oh, they are all waiting. Okay, okay, I see the problem. Let's check our metro lines. And the new line was the hub space elevator. And let's just get into the details here. 1,400 people are waiting here at the end station. That's kind of insane to me. Let's double our efforts here with the vehicles. Looks like none of the other stations are a problem. It's like people are coming out of this building, but they are not going in. It's kind of crazy. Like, are they arriving from space or what? I think what we need is some other possibilities for public transport. For instance, we could have a tram going to a nearby location. Let's say Bernice, for instance. We're gonna use a tram track for this one. So let's say we're leading the tram track next to the highway that's going up here and then maybe into this road. Let me try that. Pause the game. And I was thinking about it, this slope is going to be too steep. Yeah, we'll have to elevate it a little bit. So how about instead we did something like that? I mean, technically it's good, you can't go too crazy with the tram tracks, right? Oh dear, that's gonna require a little bit more than I anticipated. Uh, let me try that and then we're gonna use the movie tool to definitely adjust it. So I want this significantly down, maybe to this point. And then you need to come down just a little bit. You need to come down just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Despite the fact it's not very realistic because it's a tram track, you know, this seems to be an acceptable situation to me. So for now, let's just continue and keep going down in a more or less realistic manner. There we go. Actually, it doesn't look bad from the top. Let's do the last little bit. I kind of want to go into this road. Let's do it there. I'm actually going to continue this road for future efforts and I'm just going to do a little turnaround at this point. Let me actually adjust this so it is exactly near the canal. We could do a little triangle, so this is where they are gonna turn around and we're gonna have our end station somewhere here. We also need a possibility to turn around at this point, so I'm just gonna make a triangle here as well. Now let's set up the actual stations. We're gonna start our line at this point, then we go all the way over to maybe here or yeah, let's do the other side. Uh, this is a little bit of a bummer. Let's do this side. I mean, this is gonna be something in the future as well. And then we have our end station here. We come back and we complete the line. Tram line 12. Okay, that's gonna be Bernice to space elevator. And I'm just assuming we're gonna need a lot of vehicles for that as well. Nice, okay, that's actually what I wanted to see. We can see a lot of people now going to the new tram line instead of utilizing the elevated metro station. And we still have a lot of people here. Wow, this is insane. Look at that. My total amount of people traveling using the public transport has increased by a lot. I still don't think it was a mistake yet to actually place the space elevator. We'll have to see what other consequences this is gonna have for us. Okay, come on. Can we see a tram actually using this route? It technically should be possible, but if I'm not mistaken, they are actually coming from far away. You know, the depot isn't very close. Maybe to make this a little bit clearer, we're actually gonna go with a different color so we can see the tram coming from far away. Oh my gosh, oh, all the people here. I think we need, wait, wait, wait. We need more stuff. Actually, we already have 25 vehicles. 
Ah, uh, yes, that's not the one. That's not where the people are waiting. Look at this. Okay, I got tricked almost there. But there is a crazy boss route somewhere. There we go. That's the right one. We only have six vehicles here. I'm sure we can increase that. Let's go double. Uh, let's even go to 15. We have to transport a lot of people there. And by the way, I should have told you, but this is the station going from Twin Peaks to Bernice. So that's where I found this. Let's now check out our metro. Yeah, that is much better here at the space elevator. It is emptying now and the, the trams still haven't arrived at this place. Yes, here we go. These are actually the trams that are arriving. So we should see them come around the corner here any second. What? Do you see this crazy bastard? He got tired of waiting for the tram, so he decided, screw it, I'm gonna walk this distance. No problem for me. <laughs> and now the trams are coming and, oh no, more people are losing their patience. Come on, I had to let them come from the depot. You can't be mad at me for that. I just see the trams don't stop very realistically at this point. I think we'll have to expand this a little bit, maybe expand the cliffs. Can I do this on the go? I wonder... Oh, no, 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 no. You have to come up. It's gonna look a little bit weird in the beginning. Now, where is the actual stop? Can I move you slightly there? Okay. Did that change anything? Uh, hold on. Are you gonna stop now? No. Okay. Ah, they have 90 passengers. Never mind. Let's wait for the next one. There it is. Please hop in, hop in. Okay, we can take care of everyone. I think I got too many cars. Bernice Space Elevator, I think we can do with four... Hopefully I'm not gonna regret this. But I think four are enough. We don't want to pay, you know, too much. Okay, now, also important, let's take care of the parking situation. I want to go with Dark Asphalt and the large versions. I have a little bit of a flat space here, so we should be able to set up tons of parking, which I expect is necessary for this building. We'll have to see whether or not people are actually making use of that. I don't think I can get rid of all the markings, but it's not that bad. Actually, in the traffic flow, we should... Yeah, look at this. This is dark red. Now, I made the access by car a little bit of an agonizing scenario, so more people are using the public transport. Let me quickly check that other line again. I think we have too many cars here as well. Look at that. We can take more people. So let's go back down to six. And that is the main line we created in the previous episode. Okay, nice. With that out of the way, we should be able to keep going with the roads. I want to have a road lead all the way around the parking spaces. However, we need to bring this down slightly to get rid of the errors there. Nice. We're also going to keep going with a nice road around the cliff. And if I can, I want to move this closer to the cliff. At least as close as I can. And this should go ahead, create a bridge above this road. Let's see. This is probably the best spot here. I want a nice extra pillar there. Okay, that's nice. That's going to continue eventually into a different region over there. Now, let me fix that metro bridge. This needs to be a little bit of a better slope. Something like that. We're gonna ignore everything for now that is on this part. I'm not gonna do that yet. We're just taking care of this little hill at the moment. Interesting. Looks like I took away too many vehicles from this track. This was six. Uh, let's go back to eight in this case. But we, we cannot take the amount of people anymore, apparently. This station here on the other side, though, seems to be fine. Look at that, all the people can go in. But I want to see these bastards here disappear as well. Come on, get transported, darn it. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we want to set up some taxi stand. Did I just type in axe? I meant to type in tax. What, what the heck is going on? What we wanted is a little taxi stand here as well. So can I, must be a long roadside, yeah. Ah, I guess I can't do it because of the power line. So let's just get rid of it place that here and I actually want this really adjacent there so move it thank you actually thinking about it I'm gonna set up two stands so far though we have no takers but that might be because you know we need to wait for a bunch of taxis to arrive from the depots also another thing we can definitely do is continue the metro track and I think I'm gonna you know just indicate that yet I'm not sure where it's gonna lead all I know is that we definitely need a track out of here and I imagine I somewhat want to go down here, maybe next to the road. We'll have to see. You know, that might have been a mistake. Let me just remove this little part so the metro can continue working. And then, you know, we can just connect that. There we go. Okay, it, it now behaves correctly. The metro tracks are also coming down together with the road. 
They will be joining up in a grandiose region we can build here. I took myself the liberty of brainstorming this area a little bit. I think I'm just gonna cover it in nature. Actually, this entire little area between all the tracks and everything. Then as for the lake, we definitely want some piers here as well. Let me actually see. Uh, we could go with a park pier. So maybe we make a park structure here as well. Uh, let me set this up. So this entire area could belong to a park. We're actually gonna go with a nature reserve park just to spice it up a little bit. And they also have a bunch of nice viewing decks. So let's set up an entrance as well. The main gate is gonna go right here. Then we're gonna have a couple of side gates. One goes right here across the stadium, another side gate there. Then if I can, I would like to set up a side gate here as well and maybe here at the parking spots. That's actually not too bad. Now let's set up the main pathways. One pathway I want to lead directly across the lake. Now let's see. I would like to see the curve a little bit sooner. That's actually not too bad, apart from the fact that it's still too high up, but we can fix that. Let's first combine these. I'm gonna fix the curve here and then we just lower it down a little bit in general. There we go, not too shabby. I wonder if we should just have a ferry line, you know, for shicks and giggles. Though, I'm gonna need a depot and that would be a little bit of an eyesore. What we could do, however, is uh, continue this, set up a canal right here in between these two areas or maybe in between these. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that. Let me remove this. Gonna have a look at the terrain tool, maybe make this a little bit larger and more extreme. And we wanna go down, create a lake, well, a river. Now I have too much soil, let's just get rid of it here. <laughs> there we go, continue this, continue that. Yeah, go directly into the river we already have. There we go, that's actually not too shabby. We're probably gonna make the cliffs a little more extreme, but for now I think that's gonna serve our purposes. And we're gonna combine this, obviously we'll have to raise this a little bit. Okay, that's not good, you have to move, oh my gosh! There, finally. Okay, that took me a little bit of effort, but I think we can unpause the game like this and see how the water reacts. Vermont Nature Reserve, obviously you are gonna name that. So let the suggestions come. Great, I think with that out of the way, we can have a look into the ferries. Let's do that. Maybe set up another ferry pathway. Currently, we have our ferry depot right here. All we would need to do is continue the pathway, though this space is already occupied. Let Please let me do this. We can go here and then move there. I mean, this technically is only to make the ferry move to where they need to go. So we also need to go beneath this bridge, which is too low at the moment. I wonder if I can use the move it mod to move the line. Oh, I can. That is very good to know. So we should technically be able to continue up to this point And then let's think about the ferry line. I mean, it's just, you know, a silly little ferry line. We're gonna want a ferry stop here. Now, I know this looks suspicious yet, but we're gonna try to achieve that with tunnels. We also want a ferry stop at this point and then possibly another one. Hmm. I'm gonna have one more stop here for future reference and then maybe one more. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't want to destroy this region to be completely honest with you. So I think we are gonna have our last ferry stop right here. Let's first of all hook up this line, then they're going to the next stop. So um, maybe let's remove this. They will be going in here and they will be going out there. You go in here and then last but not least, we want to move over there. Now we can set up the ferry line. Easy peasy. We're gonna start from here to there and to there and there. And then we just move back, right? We don't want ferry stops on the other sides. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do a little loop-de-loop -loop for now. So that's my third ferry line at the moment with uh, four stops. We're gonna do eight vehicles. These stops obviously will have to be hooked up to water power, but also we need road access. The road access is gonna be the most difficult part. And in order to achieve that, I wanna tunnel myself in a little bit. We wanna go beneath the highway. Uh, let's do that and actually hook it up to the sky. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's gotta be a way for me to tunnel in here. Perfect. Okay, so now I should be able to simply connect this slope to steep. <laughs> 
Come on, man. This gotta be possible somehow. Somehow I have to be able to do this. We can get out here. Okay, that might be a thing. <laughs> that is actually an acceptable connection if I can do that. Yes, okay. We just need to fix it up a little bit. Like you come down and you know, I mean after the fact we can change almost anything, right? Great, just needs decorations, we'll be fine. Now this road on the other side, however, we need to... S oh my gosh, what did I do? Oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see, I mean, we needed to reshape parts of this uh, terrain anyway. So maybe, I guess there are worse things that could have happened to me. Let's try it like this. Yeah, this is actually perfect. Now I can connect the road. Uh, maybe not. I cannot select the right node anymore. For some reason, it always selects the other node on the left side of the station. So I'm gonna make the best of it. Good enough. So these two ferry stations are hooked up to the system. I would like to continue on the other side as well. So uh, we're just gonna indicate that with a dead end for the time being. But we are going to continue this probably above or beneath the highway. I have to hurry up. I just noticed the time. So what I want to do... Ooh... Maybe above the highway, but beneath the tram tracks. Let me put that here. Move you over. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Eh, hold on. Before I do too much, this doesn't need to be good. This just needs to be functional. I want to hook this up to the other ferry station as well. So that's going to belong together eventually. And then we obviously will continue the road also hooking up with this part. Okay, that's going to be the functionality of the part. And there we go, the ferries are coming along. Okay, let's just wait for them. While waiting for the ferries, I guess we could try set up another path system here. So this is all gonna be nature reserve and we'll have to do a lot of trickery to actually make this work. But let me try to set up a bridge at this point. We're gonna cross the road. Uh, I just took away their power again, didn't I? Cross the road right here, and then we want to go over. But we want to go down a little bit, go over and down completely. We're going to connect with this pathway here as well. The bridge I just created here will have to lower a little bit, but let me set up some more pathways here. We need to be careful about the ferry lines. Let me move up at this point and cross the river once again. This is not possible at this point. We'll have to move this a little bit further and then maybe we can accomplish it. Yeah, that was actually looking good. Beautiful. So right at this point, we probably want another side gate in this case. I actually moved it a little bit already. You can see it is much smoother and also the bridge has been lowered. So far, I'm actually really happy with the results. And there we go. We have our ferry lines in the joint or the ferries. Great stuff. That's going to add to the look, in my opinion, for sure. I would say we're going to wrap it up for today. I mean, I feel like we've managed to get this area under control, to hook it up properly to the rest of the city so they can go anywhere. Maybe I exaggerated a little bit with the ferry lines. And of course, we'll have to establish the park structure and everything that goes here before then continuing to the actual heart of this part, the residential area. Cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going back to my family. I'm looking forward to it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.